We didn't just record for like 20 minutes without audio. Fine. And it's not like it's never happened before. <laughs> okay, so I'm just here to announce the winner of the microphone. The, the Shure MV7. That's, yeah. That's all. Yeah. I got out of my pajamas. I got into decent clothes. Just to... There yeah. we go, I guess. And the, the winner, winner of, of the, the microphone, microphone is... is... Really quick, if you're familiar with the channel, you might be wondering why I'm using this microphone. Because I usually use the Shure SM7B, which is a really good microphone. But this is the microphone that we're actually going to be giving away, the Shure MV7, which is a $250 microphone. And the winner is going to be announced by the end of the video. The previous comments and entries for this microphone were entered in the previous video. There are going to be three additional winners in the following videos. So if you don't win this time, stick around because you get a chance to win the next one. I really appreciate it if you guys watch till the end of the video because people click out and YouTube sees that and that's a huge part of the algorithm. If they see clicking out, YouTube won't recommend it to the rest of the community. So please stick around to the end and that'll just help the video get some views because the YouTube channel has been falling behind a little bit. I really appreciate it. Anyway, really quick, a random member of the community tuned into the Discord channel and said some really kind words. So I decided to tune into his live stream and uh, this is what happened. Murray, wait, Murray Frost? Wait, wait, Murray Frost? Like from Murray's studio? Is that the same person? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Murray, oh, whoa, no way, welcome. That's all, I, 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 uh, I, <laughs> I love your content, dude. It is so good. You know, really, it's all about you guys, the viewers. And I thought it was just... Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! This is a hype train? No way. I've never had a hype... This is my first hype train. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's so freaking cool. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Anyways, um... Murray, hearing you say that is so motivating. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for dropping by. I, I, ah, oh man, I just, I love streaming. It's, it's just, no, Murray, you're gonna find some more communities to say hi to. Hey man, you have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing more of your stuff. What a great stream. So it was a super awesome stream. He's a really cool guy. Soon after, he actually did some fan art and uh, here's Emma's reaction to that. Come look at me, I wanna show you something. You're recording? So someone decided to send a gift for both of us. It is a member of the community. Okay. His name's Kenny. He's okay. an artist and he decided to send us a fun little fan art. This is his congratulations for our wedding, and he's also just a good, a good guy, great fan of the channel, so. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> I thought, it, I was like, dang, that's really good. And he did it in like, not even a day, I think. That's so cool. Yeah. We so. look way better in that picture. <laughs> So Kenny's a really cool guy. You should check him out. Twitch.tv slash KennyVO. Uh, tune into his stream. It's very intuitive and you can actually drive a tank with chat. That's cool. It's really cool, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, amongst a whole bunch of other people in the Discord, link is down below. I try to tune into as many people as I can. So just a few to mention. Or 131 some. Now that I'm reading it, it sounds strange. <laughs> well, it's awesome, but it's 131. But you cut it into bits and- All 131 some. <laughs> <laughs> OP marked and the real expert. Why real expert. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you all make your name so hard to read? <laughs> Check them out. They're pretty cool as well. So uh, this brings us to the sponsor of the video. And Emma didn't know that I was going to be doing this. But the biggest sponsor of the channel is actually my wife. And we just got married two months ago. It's been really fun diving into marriage headfirst. And just learning more about her. And, you know, letting her steal the bed sheets off the blankets. And on my side of the bed. 
but... The bed sheets off the blankets. Yeah, that made a whole lot of sense. But the, for those of you who don't see Emma that often, she's behind the scenes. She's pulling a lot of weight and I really do appreciate that and love her so much for it. So no. she's the best. One of my biggest fans. She is my biggest I am fan. Biggest Let fan. me rephrase that. <laughs> also, uh, just another point to join the Discord is I am actually in the Discord. I may or may not say anything. <laughs> But I'm there. Maybe once every two months I'll say something. So join us on the Discord. Okay, Stinger Transitions, that's what you're here for. So Stinger is a custom transition pack designed for streamers and content creators like YouTube and Facebook and any video creation that anyone does. You can use these for your videos, just drag and drop them into your content. You don't have to edit them if you don't want to. There's no branding options, so you can just use them however they are. Or you can use Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro to customize them to however you like so that you can have your own logo or your own username along with your own colored branding in there as well. So you can tailor it to what your brand looks like. This pack also includes tons of helpful resources. And by the way, if you want to see how to use each individual transition and how to edit them, there's a link to a Vimeo page with Ampus Films where you can see all of the helpful content in the user guide that comes with the download. This pack is currently available to be customized with Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro, but will be available in the future for DaVinci Resolve and other editors like Final Cut Pro 10. And we might even expand to further editors uh, if you guys want it and let us know. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, here's how you edit the transition so that you can customize it to whatever you want it to look like. All right, so when you're ready to edit transition number six, which is the Fortnite theme transition, you have the After Effects project here which you make all of your visual changes in and then in the premiere pro project you can render it with your audio and sound effects now if you want to render it from after effects you can totally do that but you won't have the sound effects unless you add them in yourself so i recommend having premiere pro to be able to render out your sound effects with the transition if you don't have premiere pro or after effects you can use the free trial from adobe you get a seven day free trial just download those and you can open these projects and render them out yourself or you can use the render folder here which has the transitions without branding so there's no logo and there's no username in these transitions you can see there's two different formats here or two different versions i should say so they got two different audio samples Nice. So when we're opening After Effects here, you can see that this is our project and the B change here folder has everything that you need to use. Uh, the A folder, you don't even have to touch that. We've made this so super easy so that you don't have to worry about things if you don't know what you're doing. So double click on the render me composition here and it'll show up in the bottom here. Now make sure that in window, you go to the essential graphics, make sure that's checked. This box will show up and this is where you do all of your editing. It's all all in one place so you don't have to go into different windows and do all kinds of crazy stuff so make sure that you're on the primary render me composition here and then you've got all of your editing options here so for example let's just assume that you want to have one color and it, you don't want to have any other colors affecting anything related to your branding so let's just take the tint amount all the way to 100 percent you can see it's pretty much like a black and white now there's a little button here you can choose to whether you want this tint to affect your branding so your username or logo you can check that on if you want to allow that to be affected there uh, most of the time you'll have it off because with your logo you might have color in it and you might want to keep that that's great uh, you can also change the tint amount so if i just click on this over here and let's just assume i want red let's click ok i'm just going to change everything to red all right super awesome now let's assume i want to keep that off so i'm just going to take that all the way to zero uh, really quick with the username options here if I just open this drop down you can see essentially just change what the username says so enter your own username you can control all the font sizes the look of it you can even change the text color the position of the text you can have the gradient on or off and you can choose the color of the gradient so one side of the color is white and the other side is blue so you can see the top part of the text is white and the bottom is slightly blue and uh, that's what that gradient is like and you can also change how strong the gradient is it's just a trial and error to see what you prefer or you can keep them at the default settings which is recommended now obviously the logo options here if i scroll up and choose logo uh, obviously nothing shows up because i haven't imported my logo so if i just go and locate my logo let's drag it into the composition or the project here and once it's in the project bin 
Then what we do is double click on our logo composition here. You can see that this window shows up. Let's just drag it into the timeline. Now it's going to be a little bigger than the rest of the composition. So I can drag the corners and hold shift to keep its uniform scale. And I'm just going to scale it to the recommended size. Then if I go back into the render me composition here, you can see that my logo shows up and it does the whole animation. It has a nice line through it with a a glow uh, which is you can actually change the shine over here so you can choose a linear glow so it's a little wider or a smooth one or you can choose sharp and you can adjust those different settings here so that you can customize it to however you like you can also reduce the intensity if you think it's too harsh or too obvious i'm just going to keep it at the default settings because that's what i like obviously you can choose what you prefer background settings here so this is just the color and uh, different effects in the background here on how it looks it's very self-explanatory the fire as well the flare in the background in the top left here you can choose the position you can choose its brightness and obviously you can choose the color of the debris uh, you can also even choose to have it on or off so the background debris over here you can choose to turn it off completely let's say you want the front debris off as well so you can have a pretty simple and basic one i kind of like the debris so i'm just going to keep that in you can also choose to have these little wind streaks here. Choose to have them on or off with this opacity slider here. I'm going to leave it at the default because I like that. And these background spikes, you can choose to have them on or off. So these on the corner here. And then more background color settings. So you can also choose the position of the effects in the background and the color as well. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go back and just have the username over here. And I'm just going to delete this because I don't need it in this composition. I'm going to be giving it to you guys all nice and fancy. So now when we go into the transition six here with the Premiere Pro project, uh, this is what we have. So you can see there's two versions here. And essentially what we've got is a composition has been linked to After Effects. So any changes that you make in that After Effects project, it'll update in here. And it's currently pending because it's still loading. Now you have both of the compositions up here and you have your sound effects file in here as well because you know these transitions come with sound effects and when you render it simply click Control m on your keyboard and once it comes up you'll see the render queue and in the help file which we have right here in the pdf you'll see that there will be a section if i scroll up far enough you'll see that there's a section here on how to do your export settings so there's a screenshot there's the bullet points here and to show you in order on what to render at so it's all super simple and easy and you just follow those steps up here but let me show you how to use this transition in obs studio and streamlabs obs okay so let's say you want to use your stinger transition in obs studio now this is very straightforward first you have your scene transitions tab which if you don't have that just go to your view tab over here go to docs and you can find the scene transitions box over here once you've pulled that up make sure that in this drop down you select stinger Go to the settings button over here and go to properties and you can choose your video file so click browse locate the one that you want most of these transitions cover the screen at about one second into the transition which means that's 1000 milliseconds so the transition point here is 1000 milliseconds that's when the screen of the transition changes to the next screen that you want to change to now if your transition has sound effects make sure you have monitor and output you don't want to do monitor only because otherwise only you will hear this sound effect and your stream will not hear it. So do monitor and output so that you can hear the sound effects in your headset and your stream will be able to hear the transition as well. Next, what you want to do is fade out to a transition point, then fade in. You don't want to do crossfade because your voice will fade out if the transition is active. You don't want to be able to not hear your voice during the transition is happening. Now, if you want to make sure that it all works, you can preview the transition. I can hear that in my headset and you can hear it too because it's going into OBS. So now if you click OK, that's all set up. Let's say we want to go to our screen. Here we go. A very nice transition. That's without the branding. Obviously you can have your own branding when you customize it to however you like. Okay, so here we're going to look and see how to change your Stinger transition for Streamlabs OBS. You can see right now I have a different transition. Which, by the way, that's a free template if you want on the website ampusfilms.com. You can download that if you want for free. 
But in order to add your Stinger transition to Streamlabs OBS, click the Edit Scene Transitions button over here. And you can see here, I already have a couple others. But let's go ahead and add a transition over here. And let's just make sure that it's a Stinger. So right there. Let's choose the video file. So browse it on your computer. Once you've found it, then in the milliseconds here, let's add, or actually you can even do frames, but let's do milliseconds, that's easier. Most of the Stinger transitions are covering the screen one second into the transition, which is 1000 milliseconds. So let's add a thousand milliseconds. Let's make sure that it's monitor and output so that your stream can hear it and you can hear it. If you just have monitor only, only you will be able to hear your Stinger transition. And then make sure you have fade out transition point, then fade in. Do not have crossfade because your voice will fade in and out during the Stinger transition. So have this active so that your voice is heard the whole time during the transition. Then you can click done and make sure it's selected here. Click done and then you can switch to your next scene. Very cool. Obviously this one is without the branding because you guys get that option if you don't have After Effects or Premiere Pro. Or you can just use your own editor at home and just add in your logo afterwards. And now the moment of truth. The winner of the Shure MV7 microphone is... Hey, Piper! Yes, congratulations. You won a $250 microphone. I'm going to send you a DM on Discord. Do not accept any other DMs from any other random Murrays. This is the account you should be accepting it from. And uh, I will send you a microphone. If you didn't win the microphone, don't worry. We have three more that we're going to give away. So the very next video is going to be a winner of the next microphone. And here is how you enter for that. First, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Second, leave a comment. Third, make sure you like the video. And you got to be in the Discord. What are you doing? I'm looking for notes. I want to take notes. Oh, are you trying to win? Yes. <laughs> Fourth, make sure that you're in the Discord channel so that I can actually DM you and you can get your information and we'll send that microphone over to you when you win. If you win. If you win. Enter to win. No, if it says enter to win. So enter to win now. Stick around, hit the notification bell so you know when that video goes live because there's not going to be a lot of time for you to enter into that giveaway. It's only going to be about a week or so, just like this last one. So they have to comment on this current video and they'll be announced in the next video. Right. Okay. And just so you know, this microphone isn't just an XLR capable microphone. It can do USB, so you don't need an audio interface in order for this to work. You just plug it in via USB, it's plug and play. It's that easy. So thank you for making this far in the video. If you made it this far, uh, leave a comment that says... Um, I don't know why, why you're looking at me. <laughs> yeah, comment, I don't know why you're looking at me. What? And I'll see you in the next video. I really appreciate you sticking around this far. I'm super excited for the giveaway. Remember, jump in the Discord. I'm there. I hang out all the time. If you need support with how to stream, how to edit, visual effects, anything else, jump in there. I have a great support team. Shout out to you guys as well as the mods. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great. Am I just here for the, the microphone giveaway? The Shure MV7 microphone? Yeah. So I got out my PJs and got into nice clothes just to... Okay. Well, I guess here goes nothing. And the, the winner, winner is... of the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying? We never agreed on what we were saying. <laughs> I feel like it should be at the Grammys. Yeah. Really quick, if you're familiar with the channel, you might be wondering why am I using this microphone? Well, I usually use the Shure S SM. <laughs> Even in the previous one. I feel like that sounds kind of weird. You sound weird. No, I. Genuineness. Please, sir. <laughs> please, could you sam spare me some watch time, please? <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. Please, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are recording audio? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, last time you said another other people that recognize me, that sounds really like I'm famous, they recognize me. So see, like some other people that I joined. Okay. Because it just sounds yeah. less like my ego's up here because okay. they recognize me. Just so you know, Adam, we did a previous take with no audio, and that's what she's referring to. <laughs> we did it on purpose, yeah! I'm a professional, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> this pack comes with a lot of amazing, useful resources that are... cool and amazing. <laughs> you say amazing, like, if I took a shot for every time you took it, said amazing, I'd be on the floor. <laughs>
What do you want me to say? Where I'll just show you. Yeah, so. Oh, how to ooze and ups and slops. <laughs> <laughs> but let me show you how to use this transition in OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. Otherwise known as ups and slops. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's so funny? Why does no one call it that? It's so much better. Ups <laughs> and slops. <laughs> Pit Viper. You ready? How are you saying it? Pit Viper. Pit Viper! Or like... <laughs> Maybe we'll just use that. <laughs> I was born to be a TV show yeah. host. Let's do that. We'll just no. use that one. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay. Get it together.